I'm gonna hit the break room. Does anybody want anything? Ma'am, you good? Yeah. Sure, okay. I have the best stocked survival shelter in northeastern Pennsylvania, but everything has a shelf life, so I must eat and then replace everything that's about to expire. It's nice not to have to plan my meals. You're eating eight-year-old tomatoes. They're still good for another week. You know, I think I might have some type of cheese in the back of my fridge you might like. I've got some cheese you might like, too, in between my toes. Hardy har har. All right, picture this. Snowy ash drizzles from the sky. A rabid pack of dogs surrounds you as the flame at the end of your stick dies out. There's only one hope left for you, the door to my shelter. You pound, you beg, Dwight, please let me in. But I ignore your cries and do not let you in. You want to know why? Because of the sign that says no pounding, no begging. No, because you laughed at me. Kevin will be eaten. Pam will be taken slave. Jim will be made a warlord's jester. Meredith will do OK. Be assured, this day will come. It's just a matter of time. Could be one month, could be two months. Three months. Could be. Four months. I can see that happening, yes. Eight months? That's a realistic timeline. <sighs> 11 months. Perhaps. OK, wait, now really think hard about this one. One year. I could see that as a very real possibility. 494 months. I could see that happening. 495 months, that's just. I have recently taken a lover. Well, that's great. Congratulations. Who's the lucky lady? Pam's mom. What? Pam's mom, Helene. Remember from your wedding? You're messing with me. About what? You did not have sex with Pam's mom. Oh, big time. What kind of car does she drive? She drives a green camera. And the seats go all the way down. All the way down. Oh my god. <laughs> what? Okay, never tell Pam. And then secondly. Okay, good, a pact. A pact. Although I may have to break it tonight when Helena and I tell Pam over dinner. You alright? Oh my god. Hey, Jim. Not now, Toby, my oh, god. Jesus. Get the hell out of here, idiot. What did I do? Okay, as far as dinner tonight, cancel that. And please, for both of our sakes, never, ever, ever see her again. I think you're underestimating Pam. I think more than anything, she wants me to be happy. No, not more than anything. Okay, I, I have a good thing with the mom. Don't call her the She's mom. She's right on my way home from work. Then Mark. take a different way home, man. I did. All right, I'll take surface streets. It's the last thing in the world I would want to do is upset Pam. Okay, so we're good. Um, yeah. I drink like a hundred ice macchiatos a day and practically nothing else. There's a really cool coffee place, Jitters, at the Steamtown Mall. You ever been there? No. You've never been to Jitters? Mm -hmm. Ryan, you are so dorky. Give me your number so I can text you. Um. Come on. Can I have an email address? Leave that off, but I just thought you should know. Mm -hmm. well, I think something a little fishy is going on. A little fishy? Yeah. I mean, I've been noticing them all day. I just think it might be. That little girl is a child. I don't want to see you sniffing around her anymore this afternoon. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Boy, have you lost your mind, because no, no, no. I'll help you no, find no, no. it. No. What you looking for? Ain't nobody going to help you out there. Jesus can come through that door, and he's not going to help you if you don't stop sniffing after my child. OK. Hey. Hello. Jim? What's up, buddy? This is not funny. Why is my stuff in here? Wow, that's weird. Ooh. Dollar for a stapler, that's pretty good. Yeah, well, I'm not paying for my own stuff. Okay, I know you did this because you're friends with the vending machine guy. Who, oh, Steve? Yeah, Steve. What do I want? Is. What do I want? Ooh, pencil cup. Oh, no, 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 no. That's my pencil cup. Um, I don't think so. I just bought it. Uh, I think so. And you're going to hand it over to me. I love these. Okay, fine. Get my wallet. Um, oh, there it is. J1. Here, you know I don't have any. You got some nickels. Okay, I have an announcement. You pushed Daryl out the window. No, shot Dwight. No, no, 
That is not funny. I love my employees, even though I hit one of you with my car, for which I take full responsibility. Look, I'm just trying to take everybody's mind off of this unavoidable tragedy and onto more positive things. So I thought we should plant a tree. Oh, good. At least we don't have to work. Okay, we're leaving for the hospital at one. So, like a freedom tree. I can take three people. I can also take three people. Separate cars. Pam? All right, we'll get a card at the hospital and we'll sign it outside her room. Pam. Salespeople can go later in the day. Hourly workers can go at lunch. Okay, good, good. So we'll just all go down there together at lunch. Excellent. I, I was thinking that good we Good work, Pam. But if Yay! We, I think it would be kind Pam. of hot. All right, since I am the boss, I will drive as well. Who wants shotgun? You can't be serious. You ran a woman over this morning. Everyone inside the car was fine. Stanley. That's interesting. Wow, it's a little early for ice cream night. <laughs> it's never too early for ice cream, Jim. But we didn't have any ice cream. So this is mayonnaise and black olives. Oh, oh my It's God. comfort food, all right? God. Oscar, Toby, and I are founding members of the Finer Things Club. We meet once a month to discuss books and art, celebrate culture in a very civilized way. Sometimes the debate can get heated, but we're always respectful. There is no paper, no plastic, and no work talk allowed. It's very exclusive. Besides having sex with men, I would say the Finer Things Club is the gayest thing about me. So tell me again why I can't be a part of your club? Because some people think that you monopolize the conversation by trying to be funny. Oscar? Some people. Found him! Jim. We're getting crapped on. Word is our branch sucks. And we have to do something about it. So what are you gonna do? What are we gonna do? We are going to make a monster sale, is what we're going to do. Corcoran drop staples. Did they? Yes, they did. Oh, yes, they did. And we are going to murder it! You, me, Dwight are going to jump in my PT Cruiser we are going to crush this sale. We are going to prove what the hell is that music? It's Vivaldi for well, Finer Things. That's the problem. That's the problem. We need rock and roll, Pam, rock and roll. All right? Oh my God. That's why people are leaving. I, I have no words. Oh, God, that tickles. What do you... I want someone to follow Donna. I want her tailed. I need the name of a good private investigator. I think I've got one for you. This is you. How much do you charge? $100 a day plus expenses. I'll give you 50 Money's no object. Done. I'm just going to warn you, and I say this to all my clients, you might not like what I find. OK. And you might not like how I find it. How can he still not know? We can't figure that I out. I can't take it anymore. Wait, what? You can't take what? I am telling Andy. No, you can't do that. Yes. It shouldn't come from you. Who should it come from then? Angela. 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 Are you still having intercourse with her? What is wrong with you? She is engaged. Did you ever have intercourse in this office? Are you serious? Ugh. Where? Where? Where, Dwight? Seems like you already know where. Hey, are your little dudes crawling yet? No. Three-month-old humans don't do that. My Philip is crawling. Angela is such a oh, liar! It's maddening! <laughs> exactly, that's just like crate training, all night long. All night long. <laughs> <laughs> well, count yourself lucky. Wait until you have two. That's two sleep schedules, two naps that don't coincide. I mean, you'll never sleep again. No one said you must have two. Like her genes are so important. The world just needs more Pam Jim DNA. Thank you, no. No, thank you. <laughs> Check this out. My brother just got a new sailboat. He has no idea what he just got himself into. There's nothing harder than taking care of a boat. Am I right? Unbelievable! Unbelievable! <laughs>